Slow violence is bad events on the scale of a disaster that unfolds very incrementally. It was a people who over hundreds of years had been told there's nothing you can do about it. When I was small, I would complain about the smoke and the smell. And I was told that that's the smell of money. Don't complain about that. This is Pittsburgh. It's a steel town and the air is bad. And that's because they let it be bad. Our air stinks, it just it's terrible. It's terrible in the middle of the night. My kids cannot play outside. Their eyes and throats burn weekly. I'm the mother of an eight-year-old child. I, I worry about him every day. It is no wonder why I'm currently using an inhaler, struggling to breathe and talk to you today. I wouldn't move here. I wouldn't live here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring my dog here. On December 24th at about 4.15 a.m., we experienced a fire at the Claritin plant, and it required the immediate shutdown of our number two control room and number five control room processes. We initially thought, as you heard, that the mitigation strategies were working. This is massive. I mean, these are massive emissions. And when they stopped working, we felt out an abundance of caution that we needed to let people know what was going on. We have untreated coking gas being burned in a flare that's spewing out into our airshed. It will be somewhere between 11 and 13 years worth of regular pollution in a 100-day period of time. Allegheny County bears the scars of decades of uncertainty, of ignorance in relation to environmental impacts. My wife has sclerocodosis for breathing this stuff all of her life. Our workers deserve safe jobs, and they are worth fighting for. But my health is worth fighting for, too. To me, uh, this was the last straw, quite frankly, in this conversation. My dream is turned into a nightmare. Now, people are fed up, and people are tired, and we're sick of being sick. I'm sick of being sick. In this city, until we get ourselves positioned for the future, we will be smothered and killed by the past.